Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Mark here with the Crypto Mark. Dogecoin, uh, seeing some big numbers here, not in the direction that we like to see them. So I want to talk to you guys about it, share with you guys some of these numbers. Uh, this is a lot of liquidations that we're seeing in the market. The biggest number of liquidations uh, since 2021. So 60 million is hitting Dogecoin as we're waking up. So let's talk about it. Let's see what exactly is going down. And then I'll dive into uh, Dogecoin here on the chart. Um, but before we get into it, uh, if you want to help out the channel, uh, please subscribe down below. We talk crypto every single day right here um, on the channel. Um, really appreciate each and every one of you guys that are uh, channel members and the ones that are returning as subscribers. I uh, can't do it without you guys. So let's get into it. Um, let's get into the news. Please remember, though, not financial advice. Always do your research and due diligence, okay? But let's take a dive into uh, kind of the chart as we're talking right now, and you can see exactly what's going on, okay? Sea of red, and here's Dogecoin down about 10%. Uh, we're still in the top 10, uh, giving up a spot, but now we're trading hands at 13 and a half cents. Uh, I did a video yesterday where I was talking about this as a buy for Dogecoin, and I got absolutely blown up in comments saying Dogecoin was dead, uh, move on, better investments. So um, that's neither here nor there, but uh, definitely an opportunity if you look at where Dogecoin has been trading at over the past uh, month. We've been consulting very, very nicely um, you know, in this 16 cents range for the better better part of March in, until uh, June, and then we've since dropped. So last time we did that, we did bounce up uh, from that 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 um, um, that trough. And uh, the nice thing about Coin Market Cap is you can see uh, as you go through the chart, it will pop up some of these articles. Um, and you can see what these peaks and troughs kind of correlate with with what's in the news. Um, so it's it's a underknown feature within Coin Market Cap. Just being honest, okay. But this is kind of where we're at within the level of of the floor. So um, I, I'm expecting, as always, not financial advice, but I'm expecting all of this to erase uh, very shortly. We're seeing some long plays uh, within Bitcoin and the rest of the market kind of expire and uh, kind of not pan out. So this is why we're seeing red across the board. This is like programmed institutional action and not necessarily, uh, like I said in another video, me and you just waking up on a Tuesday and selling all of our crypto. Okay. Uh, it takes a lot more than that to see this. All right. But why is it happening? Let's talk about it a little more. It's just broader market sell-offs. Um, but what's interesting is there's a lot of bullish uh, technical data within uh, the Bitcoin uh, charts. And if you really look into that, um, a lot of the deeper dives that you can take, it's extremely bullish. Um, so that's very interesting, um, but we'll see what happens, okay? Uh, there's been a lot of bullish bets on Dogecoin, okay? Um, and this has been one of the uh, kind of areas where that has been stung harder than Bitcoin, which is kind of unusual because of how they closely kind of trade together. So we saw $60 million in long trades, okay? Uh, that were liquidated. Now, that's where we saw the sell-off. That's what causes it. Okay, and then uh, now we've looked into the CoinDesk 20 index that measures the broader crypto market. Uh, that's down 3.4% in the last 24 hours. So that's a very good metric to use, the CD20. Okay, now Bitcoin as well, they're down 47 million, but Dogecoin out, out, outlasting that that negative number as at 60. Uh, Ethereum, um, Lost the most, most. I think there was a lot of lot more bullish bets on Ethereum with the ETF talks, and then that those were all erased within kind of stalling, um, having these deliberations continue. Nobody wants to have all their their long positions tied up with the SEC and and regulators making decisions. Okay, so um, that's where we've seen that happen. Um, overall, four hundred forty million dollars of crypto longs. Um, lost uh, as people took their profit, uh, the dollar strength uh, weighed on the market. These are just some of the um, kind of bullet points of what's causing the, the Tuesday early uh, movement that we're seeing. Okay, so just a lot of selling pressure. Um, that's something where uh, you're seeing the rate cut. Uh, this is something where they're getting out of risky assets into less risky ones, which uh, kind of is fully... Um, hypocritical in my opinion because i know bitcoin is supposed to be in crypto and digital assets are supposed to be the ultimate hedge against inflation so if the dollar is increasing uh in in value uh digital assets uh should do worse but uh, for some reason when uh, the dollar is doing uh bad and poorly and inflation's high um uh, people don't you know people should be flocking into um 
you know, the digital gold, so to speak. But for some odd purpose, um, you know, a lot of tra a lot of people keep their money out of riskier assets during that time period. So uh, it, the principles are correct, but it's the level of risk tolerance I think weighs on that that whole you know inverse relationship uh, between inflation and um, digital asset uh, uh, digital assets. Okay, but. This is where memes are getting hit a little bit harder. So as always, Dogecoin is going to have the blunt of that impact. Um, and that's where we saw all the liquidations uh, came from long positions that were cashed out uh, or people betting on higher prices. Um, it, the very, very minimal, minimal uh, dollars amounts on shorts or bets against a token uh, that were liquidated. So um, this is important and it's important to understand because um, if you're not planning on selling your Dogecoin, it doesn't really matter. But uh, some of the more everyday traders, the crazy traders out there, the ones that are, you know, trading multi, multi million dollars at a time, um, they play it a little differently. So um, they're the ones that shake and make ripples in the charts and um, them cashing out on their on their long position is something where we always say, follow the whales, follow the money. And this isn't intended to be FUD on Dogecoin. Uh, it's just a reality, right? It's just a reality because the day and moment that we see $60 million of inflows of longs, uh, not liquidations, I'm going to be making a video too. And we're going to talk about that and how bullish it is for Dogecoin. Um, but we need to weather the storm because 60 mil of liquidations is not necessarily a good thing um, with the dollar um, kind of um, having the, that, that kind of uh, outcome within the interest rate cut that is coming. So uh, presidential election, that's a big bullish catalyst for me uh, moving forward. Uh, that's kind of what we have left in 2024. Uh, if we get the Ethereum ETFs take off, that would be something good for ERC-20 tokens as well and the rest of the crypto market. But um, this is just kind of a update on what's happening within Dogecoin. Um, me personally, uh, this is a great buying opportunity for Doge. Um, I wanted to buy more as much as I could at that eight cents level, nine cents, and then it got above ten very quickly. And then uh, next thing you knew, we were above twenty, and then we've we kind of settled at sixteen, seventeen, fifteen, uh, and now we're kind of on a little bit of a dip. Uh, so if we have another ten percent day, I will be buying more Dogecoin, um, where we can have see see a little bit of a. Um, a clearance price, if you will, on Doge. So appreciate you guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe down below. I just want to share with you guys a little bit of these numbers as we get into the midweek. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll have videos out later today and we'll have, of course, um, Dogecoin videos tomorrow. So subscribe down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.